All right, this isn't a video I expected to make, but it is something I think a lot of players, especially heavy mains, are missing out on. This gadget essentially gives you non-stop wall hacks and acts, in my opinion, more like a specialization rather than a gadget. This is because of its potency and availability. The gadget I'm talking about is none other than the proximity sensor. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly why it's powerful as well as examples of that. But before we get into it, if you found this video informative, please smash that like button. It's a small button for you, but means the world to me. Also subscribe for all things the finals. Let's jump into it. The proximity sensor has a refresh rate of 20 seconds per charge with two charges and does not go away until it is either replaced or destroyed. Now it will not locate players that are beyond 11 meters or behind walls, only players in its direct vicinity. However, when it does pick up a player, it will show you their location regardless of where you are. In season four, this gadget got a buff extending its range by one meter, totaling an 11 meter radius. While this may not seem like a lot, it is more than enough range to cover an entire cash out point as well as choke points leading to a cash out. By placing sensors at the entry points that opponents may potentially enter, giving you crucial info as to where and when to go on the offensive. This is also extremely potent in the final rounds if the team wants to go on the offensive after they deposit the vault. They can simply drop the proximity sensor at either a choke point, entryway, or pathway and launch an off-angle attack as soon as the opposing team is pinged. This also pretty much renders a cloaked light useless, taking away their element of surprise and making them quite easy to pick off. Now, like I said in the intro, this gadget I consider to be a specialization because its availability is way too frequent. You pretty much have wall hacks on demand whenever you go into an engagement and can be used offensively just as well as defensively, especially if you're using the the caliber of Kimbo handguns, sledgehammer, or SA-1216, because you'll be able to flank or sneak up on the enemy with the info provided by the proximity sensor. You could pair this with charge and slam by placing a sensor at a cash box or even an entryway, position yourself in an adjacent room, then charge and slam through the wall as soon as the enemy gets in your range. So you could potentially sledgehammer an entire team or even demolish them with the SA-1216. The proximity sensor also synergizes very well with the winch claw, allowing you to locate, sneak up, and snag an unsuspecting medium or light to quickly eliminate them. The possibilities are endless with this gadget, and I promise you these examples are only the surface level potential of this gadget, knowing how creative this community is. I'm very sure it will be a top pick and ranked, especially for the final round. So give it a try. I highly recommend taking advantage of this because if you don't, someone else will. Anyhow, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you guys found this video informative, please smash that like button. It's a small button for you, but means the world to me. And subscribe for all things the finals. Peace and love, guys, and I'll see you in the arena.